Hello and welcome to MHA Digital Communities. My name's Katie and for today's session we're going to be making some Christmas themed art. Today's activity is going to be making a Christmas tree scene and I'm just going to go through the materials and then we'll get started. For this activity you will need some thick red card so um, and some green card. You'll also need a piece of white cartridge paper so again slightly thicker than you'd have say printer paper slightly thicker because we're going to be using some watercolours on that one. In terms of materials, you will need um, a pencil, rubber and sharpener. Um, I've got a black fine line pen. This is to add outlines and some detail. I've got a wax um, candle that I'll use for doing a wax resist technique. Um, I've got a couple of small brushes, one just slightly bigger than the other one. I've got a ruler that's always handy just for checking the measurements of things. Um, I've got my watercolour paints, I've got a palette here just for mixing if I want to mix some colours and some colouring pencils. Um, I haven't put the whole range of colours because I'm probably only going to be using a green, a purple and a couple of yellows but obviously you can have more colours than those. Um, then I've got just a little pot with some water, some gold glitter, a Pritt stick, a pair of sharp scissors and as a little extra, I've also got some little sticker gold stars. So let's get started. So to make this Christmas scene, we're going to start off by making the tree. For this, you will need a piece of the white cartridge paper. And you're going to start off by drawing the tree shape. So I've got my ruler and my pencil, and I'm going to draw a triangle, which is roughly about 15 centimetres at the base and it's going to be the same at the height or maybe slightly one centimetre more like 16 so I'm just going to put my glasses on so I'm just going to draw that and on my piece of paper it doesn't matter where I put it because I'll be cutting this out later so I'm just going to go somewhere here along the bottom so I'm drawing the base just double check that measurement yeah 15 centimetres And then the height is 15 centimetres. I need to put that top position in the middle. So I'm going to measure half of 15, which is obviously 7.5 around here. And then I will draw, put a dot there. So then I know where to join up the bottom part of the triangle with the top. And that just gives me the outline of the tree. Okay, so once I've done that, I'm then going to add this, what I call, a, I suppose, a serrated or a tree edge. So we're basically just adding little, like a little curve and it goes back to the edge like that and that gives you the tree outline. And then along the bottom, I'm just going to draw a bit of a curvy line like this. And that gives me my tree shape. I'm then just going to rub out that straight line. And then that should just leave the tree outline. doesn't matter if I rub out some of these as long as I can still see them because all I'm going to really be doing is, is cutting those out so I can still see where to cut out. Just rubbing out a bit of that line. Okay, so there we have the tree shape. 
There's going to be obviously some other items including like presents and the, the bucket for the tree, um, a stocking and a star, so, but we'll draw those afterwards. So we've got the basic outline for the tree and now we're going to get straight into some painting effects. So I've got my candle, my wax candle, um, and I'm going to use that to create this tree texture. And I'm going to do that by applying this. So it's a bit like invisible drawing. So I'm just applying these wavy shapes. You don't have to be too precious about this. It's difficult to see what you're doing, but it doesn't matter. We're just going along and applying this curvy shape all the way across like that. This is just a really quick way of creating a, a nice tree texture. So right to the top. So once we've done that, you can check if you kind of move it around in the light, you can sort of see where you filled it in so you can see the lines that you've put down. Then we're going to take the medium sized brush, dip it in some water, and I'm going to make two different shades of green, a dark green and a paler green. So I've got this lovely emeraldy kind of green, quite a dark bluish tinged green. And I'm going to go and just apply it in little areas. I'm just going to, for example, brush that across like that. Just put it in a few different areas. So if you were looking at a real Christmas tree, there'd be some areas that would be lighter and darker. And we're just trying to create that kind of effect. You can go into the edge a little bit as well. Just quite loose, expressive kind of painting. We've got a texture, then I'm going to go and make some lighter green. So obviously I'm going to take some yellow. This is like a more lemon type yellow. Because I've already got a bit of blue on my brush, you can see it's kind of already going greenish. Then I'm going to take another shade of blue here, slightly lighter blue. And I can just test it on the side here. Yep, so that's like a paler green, so I can use that. Put that in. So it feels like that might be a little darker, so I'm just going to make it slightly paler by just adding a bit more yellow, a bit more water. And uh, just go in. And I'm just filling in the areas that I've left white. I'm going along the base here. Okay, so, so there we have it, and we'll just leave that to dry. Um, I'm just going to actually, because I want to use some more white paper for the next, but I'm just going to cut this bit out, cut that bit off and leave that to dry for a moment, so I can use that other bit of paper there. So we'll just leave that to dry up there. I'm going to use this piece of paper to make the other elements, which are the presents, the 
bucket at the bottom and the star. So I'll get hold of my pencil once more and then I'm just going to now draw initially just a, a little square. It's probably, a, I'm doing it this freehand, it's probably about, it's a rectangle rather, about three centimetres wide. And then I'm going to put this little cross across it to represent like a ribbon, like wrapping. Then I'm going to draw a little Christmas stocking. Again, about two centimetre line. And we go down like this, and then we just veer off here to the left to create the, the stocking effect, okay? So that's the second one. And then we've got this little um, Christmas tree base or, or bucket. And again, we've just got a little line across about three centimetres. And then another line at the bottom, a slightly shorter line. We join those together like this. And we can either have that flat or we can curve it just to give it a more 3D kind of effect. I'm going to curve mine like that. And we'll be cutting, painting these and cutting them out so we can always refine the shape further when we do that. So, um, so I'm just going to quickly use some watercolours on these. So I'm going to go for some blue. got some blue for this one then for the um, bucket here I'm just going to add another detail which is this kind of bow in the middle so again it's just like a little square but I'm just curving it at the edges and then fanning it out like that and I'm going to take my smaller brush and use some red We'll be adding some fine line pen to the outlines of these. So even if it's not very defined now because of the pencil, it will be when we add the pen. There we go. And then I've used a dark green for the background. So I'm going to go and use the same dark green. Obviously, it can be a little bit fiddly painting in these very small tight places, which is why it's good to have a small brush. Ideally, if you hold it quite close to the tip, it's, you can use it almost like you would a, a pencil. And just make small brush marks if you don't feel very confident at getting to the edge. Just make very small marks like that, and then you can quickly fill in. Of course, if you didn't have any paints, you could use felt tips uh, or colouring pencils. But obviously, it's nice. It's nice to work with paints. It's nice to get the the flow of the colour across here, and it's not completely even. That's fine. That's that's the quality of the paint. Okay, so there we have the Christmas tree bucket, and now for the Christmas stocking, I've just made some small circles, this kind of part of the pattern. And uh, just going to use an orangey colour to fill those round. I'm going around each one of them. Again, this is really good practice for hand and eye coordination. You just go gently and paint around the shapes. And they don't have to be perfect. We're just trying to get there. We go. I'm 
Okay, so we've got our three additional shapes. We've got one more thing to go, which is the star. So there's so many different types of stars that you can draw, but I think this one's quite effective, effective on the top of a tree. So for this one, you're going to draw a straight line. Again, this is probably about four centimeters long. And then just across like that. And then what you're going to do is draw a small line, so small, two small lines crossing each other. And then from here, you're going to take the points and join those up like this. And then we're going to add another, almost like another cross, but behind it. So then I can put a line going across from there, a line going across from there, And there we have that and we'll be again pulling in the detail with a fine line marker pen. In terms of painting this one, um, I've got two shades of yellow and a pale purple that work quite well together. Um, so I'm going to just use my small brush again. And I'm just going to use shade of pale yellow I'm just picking out some of the facets like that and I'm going to use a slightly darker yellow so I'll put this what's called the yellow ochre, slightly darker yellow. Doesn't really look that much darker, does it? Let's darken it a little bit. So to darken yellow, um, we can use purple. So if I get a little bit of a dark red, and here I'm going to mix it, a little bit of a dark red with a little bit of, tiny bit of blue because I don't particularly have a, a purple. And then if I, I'm just going to show you here. So here's some purple. And if I've got my yellow and I add a little bit of the purple, you can see how I can darken the yellow. So that's a good little trick. So I'm just going to darken that yellow. There we go, that's a bit darker. one there, that should be yellow. And we've got this. Now I'm going to go for the purple. With the watercolours, it's trying to make just enough for what you'll need. You don't really need a lot. So here's like a, like a purpley colour. And the idea is that if we have this yellow and this purple, we just get this slightly three-dimensional look to the star. of yellow. There we go. And we'll just leave those to dry for a moment. Go back to the tree. So the tree is very nearly dry um, and if you wanted to speed it up with drying it you could always use a hairdryer or something or a bit of paper towel. So we've got that pretty much dry now we can work on the top of that. There is some more painting we have to do but we'll just work on the top of that for now. Um, I've got a green colouring pencil and I'm just going to go in and just add some tiny little lines that just add a little bit of tree-like texture. 
I'm not adding it everywhere, but I'm just putting it in between some areas here just to add a little bit of interest to the surface there. So we've got those there um, and then I'm going to just add, I'm just going to use some, I'm going to cut this out first and use some of this paper to make the little bobule. So I'm just going to roughly cut around the edge. And then we'll be cutting out the edge of the tree when we put it all together as a collage. So with these spare bits of paper, I'm now going to just draw um, about 12 small Christmas bobules or little circles. Um, I'm drawing them slightly bigger than I want them because I know I'm going to be cutting them out and I'll probably um, need that little bit of extra space to cut them out so we've got a selection there um, I'm going to paint them before I cut them out so I'm going to use a medium yellow and one of the tricks to making them look shiny in 3d is to leave a little tiny reflection area of white um, so we won't be using anything to paint over that if you think it's quite difficult to do that you could always try using the wax and I'm going to use I'm going to try using the wax just to pick out the highlight. We'll see what that looks like. So that does work, but I think it's probably actually easier because it's so small just to do it um, with a brush. So I'm going to just do it, I think, with my smaller brush as well. So I've got my yellow. So I'm just going to go in and I'm going to go round the edge first. So I'll do one little circle around the edge. And then I'm going to go to the left side and just leave myself a little blank and I think this is actually easier than doing it with the wax so all the way around leave a little little tiny strip in white all the way around and then leave a little strip if you notice I'm sort of curving my brush round to get that little curved shape So once we've done that, we've got that shiny effect. And then to make it look even more three dimensional, we just go back in and get a, a shade of a slightly darker yellow. Go to one that's already dry, that one's already dry. And then we just put one little layer, one little layer of a darker yellow here down this edge. And then what we've got is three different tones. We've got the white, got the yellow, and then we've got the dark yellow as a shadow. Of course, we could have also used a purple. We'll leave that one. And there we have them. And now we'll just leave those to dry for a moment. We'll go back to these shapes that are, are dry now and we'll get the fine line pen. Go to the first one we did, so the present, so just doing a little outline. Doesn't have to be particularly sharp. So I'm adding these little elements like a bow. I'm using making it quite sketchy. So, so it looks like a, a drawing. Then we'll go to the stocking. I'm adding a bit here, be like 
a fur trim. Go around the edge, doesn't matter if the line's a bit wobbly, that's fine. Then I'm going to the star and I'm going to outline that. Obviously this is freehand, no ruler, so it's okay if it's not perfectly straight. We just want that feeling that it's a hand drawing. There we have that, and then down to the bucket. Just outline the bow here. And we have those there, so they're ready as well. So now that these have, these have dried, it's time to cut them out cut the main shape out and then just refine it. So I'm just going to put those down. What I might do is just break up the piece of paper into smaller sections, then it's easier to pick them up and cut, cut around them. So that's two. That one's the reject one, we'll leave that one out. If you hold it with your thumb and just kind of move it around, it's doing half of the work for you that way. And so now we're going to cut out the Christmas tree. So we've got this edge here. So we're just going to go around this um, tree shaped edge. And so what I'm doing just to make this a little bit easier is I'm cutting along and then I'm moving the piece of paper all the way to the angle that I need and then cutting along and moving the paper rather than moving the scissors. You might just find that a little bit less tiring on your hand. Yep. Yep. So as you can see, I'm moving the piece of paper and that's helping me
Okay, so we've got our tree and we've got our baubles. Now I'm just going to cut out the smaller elements. So I've got my Christmas tree bucket here. I'll just put that here so we can see that. Then we've got our Christmas star. Always cut the piece of paper down a little bit smaller then it's easier to handle. So this is good because it's just straight lines, it's a little bit easier. Don't worry if you don't go right up to the edge and you leave a little bit of white around the edge, that's fine, that'll still look quite good. So we've got the star and then we've got Christmas stocking which is nice and easy to cut out. And then the present. Okay, so we should have all of our elements ready to put together. So now your pieces are cut out individually, we'll start to assemble the picture. So we've got our red background, we've got our Christmas tree, we've got our star, we've got the bucket and the gifts and the Christmas baubles. So the first thing we'll stick down is the tree. So we'll take our glue, our glue stick and just uh, make sure you put a nice layer of glue stick all around the edge and then some into the middle like that. And then we're going to place this, um, if you want to check with a ruler, I mean this is a piece of A4 paper, so probably something like I've got, yeah it's about seven centimetres up. So I'm just going to stick that down Keep it in the middle there, that looks quite good. And I'm just going to flatten that down. You might have to go back afterwards and just maybe put a little bit of extra glue if any bits are flapping up, but I don't mind the edges sticking out slightly. You get a quite nice, slightly 3D effect with that. So I've done that first. Um, then I'm going to stick down the bucket, just underneath there. Then I've got my Christmas stocking. I'm going to just stick over here. And a wrapped Christmas present. So we'll just stick that along here. We've got the Christmas star. And now for the Christmas baubles. A little bit fiddly because they're small, but so I'm just taking the bauble onto the glue. And just remember to keep all of the little highlighted areas in, in the same direction, so towards the right. And I'm just going to spread these out across the surface. I always enjoy putting together a Christmas tree and especially selecting the baubles. Here we are. So even if you're not decorating a tree yourself, this way you can make your own tree, and decorate it however you like. Um, you could draw some 
additional things if you wanted to or make some additional different coloured baubles. It's up to you really, but this just gives you um, lots of ideas of what you could do to personalise it. So we've got one more to put over here and a little one at the top. And there we have all the key elements of the picture and then we're just going to add a few extra little touches. We're going to use this purple pencil to add some texture at the bottom here. So I'm just doing some swirls. I just think that the purple and the red are quite nice together and it just adds another layer of texture. So it's just a very quick way of filling in quite a large area. It's quite easy to do. And you've got these two warm colours of the red and the purple blending together, which look quite nice. But again, you could choose a different colour, go for a slightly different effect. So we've got that here. And then we're just going to add a little bit of sparkle into the background. So I'm doing two things. Um, I'm going to use my glue and I'm just going to put some little spots of glue just spread out throughout the background. I'm going to get my gold glitter Just sprinkle that onto the areas where the glue is. And I'm just going to just sprinkle the excess onto the sheet underneath like that. And I've also added an extra little touch, which is I happen to have a sheet of little gold stars these little stickers. You don't have to have these, but if you happen to have any kind of um, silvery type stickers or gold metallic type stickers, um, even just some little white spot stickers could look quite good, but I've got these gold stars. So I'm just adding these in just as an extra touch into the background because it is a collage. And it's just so quick and easy because they've already got the glue on, we can just quickly scatter them about. So here's the completed picture. Thank you so much for joining me and I look forward to seeing you on the next one.